Today we'll be seeing how to set up a lock screen with OpenRC, or in this case, we'll be using eLoginD for it. Because we need a way in order, f we need a way so that we can make sure that when the computer goes to sleep or hibernation or whatever, that it'll lock before going to sleep. So, go to the eLoginD page on the Gentoo Linux wiki and go to the hook scripts when suspending, hibernating, or when zooming, thawing. And then you see this snippet of code, which thank you Gen2 Wiki for giving us basically everything we really need. And then we need to put it in this directory here. I have already put that there, so I'll open it up and show you how it works. So let's do a good old Bam. Are you login D? Sleep, then you go and see I have a thing called lock.sh. Let's take a look at it. So, in this case, we'll be using better lock screen. You see the that old script here, but First, we need to get the user's name because better lock screen has to be run by the user you want to log in with unless the password for the root account is also the same password, which I assume you don't want to do. As well as you have to make the configuration for the root user. So we have to use the who command, which put up another terminal. Who tells you which user is running as well as some other things and then we just do an awk print one which gives you the first uh, user which just gives you this then we get the user's home because we need access to the x authority so there should be a dot x authority here so we need to change the x authority environment variable to reflect this x authority file then we gotta export display I'm not quite sure what that done does I just know you have to do that and then in this little, and then in this little, uh, what do you call it, uh, case or switch statement, if it's pre and then if it's sleep or hibernate, it will change the username to better lock screen and, and run it. Since it's a root account, you don't need a password. And then it'll lock it. And then it'll put it to sleep, so it'll let it lock. And then it'll, then the hibernate will go down. Oh, okay, you should specify that this, in quotes, is the command you run for. This is command, and this is what command you run, so it work, doesn't have to work with better lock screen. It could be any lock screen program. Now, I would show you how, I would show you that it does work. However, if I did do that, you wouldn't be able to see it because the OBS would just stop recording. So, just... Take my word on it, that it does indeed work. Alright, okay, and another thing we need to do is we need to set up xidle hook, which is we're going to use to lock the screen after we're idle. So on Gen 2, there is no package, so you have to install it by doing cargo install xidle hook bins. But we want to look at this uh, xidle hook script, because we're just going to copy it, and we're going to... And we're going to then put it in bin. There we go. And then, since eventually I'm going to set up my tiling window manager, it's not set up quite yet, but this will be one of the things towards doing that. So, vim lock. And we're just going to paste the script in. And then I'm going to. Right, and then quit, so then we get nice syntax highlighting. Since I have two monitors, we need to adjust this a little bit. I also, like, I want to make it run faster, so... Let's change that to dash. And then... Oh. This but to be sec secondary. 
then I'll change that to connected. Same with this. Connected. And then pipe that in one more time into said n. And then it's 1p, I believe. And do the same here. 2p. I think it might be the other, the other way around for which monitor, but... How X idle hook is... Let's uh, open up another terminal. I need an X idle hook. Help. It has multiple options. Text sleep is text when some will wake up and then reset everything. Help gives you the help information. Not when idle or not when audio is. If audio is playing, then it won't go to sleep. And when you're not in full screen as well, so if it from detects full screen is also supposed to be read it from going to sleep, say you're watching a movie or whatever. Once is if you want it to only run once. And then print once the idle time. And then get a version and then timer is the duration of that. Duration is how many seconds of inactivity should trigger timer. So if we go back is so that when we run this script it will basically Set up X idle hook to not uh, not uh, initiate when full screen and not not when with audio, and then when it hits the idle time of sixty seconds, it'll run this command, and then if the user interrupts it, this will command will be run instead. Then after 10 additional seconds after that, XRender will run, or, or uh, XRender will change the brightness back to bright. Then it'll run the command i3lock, which in this case, we want better lock screen. Oh, yeah. Dash L, that would be the lock command. And then since login CTL. Then after that 10 seconds, then an additional 3,600 seconds. In this case, it's an hour. It'll run this command, which is for Gen 2 and other non system D distros, would be login CTL. And then, then after that, you then go and put the script in your in your auto start config if I had DWM set up it would be in the auto start dot sh and then you just put like lock and then that and then you start it if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe follow me on mastodon and have a nice day Minix out